If this is your first time going to the gym and you really have no idea how to use the machines, ask the staff to give you a tour around the gym so that way you know where everything is. <laughs> to my channel this is Naeem's opinion where I encourage you to become a better version of yourself and together we can all grow in today's video I'll be sharing with you what you need to know as a beginner at the gym I know that a lot of people have a hard time making exercise as a part of their routine maybe it's because you're too busy or you have social anxiety either way there are methods to overcome these challenges the first thing that you need to know is how to become prepared Number one, always wear comfortable clothes, like some sweats or anything loose fitting. And leggings are exceptional, but whatever it is, make sure it is comfortable and stretchy. Number two, have a good pair of running shoes. That way your feet do not hurt. You want to avoid wearing shoes like Converse, any open toe shoes, flats, or heels. Number three, have a luck. It is poor gym etiquette to carry around all of your personal belongings. So make sure that you put it away or leave it in your car or at home. Number four, if you have any serious medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, or allergies, make sure that you have all of your necessary medication on hand just in case of emergency. Number five, you wanna make sure that you are drinking plenty of water throughout the day and that you eat at least an hour or two before you go to the gym. That way you prevent dehydration and possibly passing out because you didn't eat enough or drink enough water throughout the day. Number six, bring headphones and a water bottle. This is just in case you don't enjoy the music that they're playing on the radio. At least you can listen to your own music. And also it is important to have a water bottle along with you. That way you aren't running back and forth from the water bubbler to the machine. Number seven, have a great playlist. Also download any apps that you typically enjoy. For example, if you like listening to audiobooks or podcasts, or even just watching any streaming service, make sure that you have those apps downloaded and ready to go. And even if we can't prepare, sometimes we can't help but to feel self-conscious. Maybe it's because you're comparing yourself to others, or maybe you're worried about someone staring at you. But nine times out of 10, the truth is no one's honestly paying attention to you. And even those people that you're comparing yourself to, um, like for example, like the bodybuilders or even the good looking girls, they have to start somewhere as well. And they didn't always look like that. So don't allow your ego to discourage you because people come in in all different shapes and sizes and are at different levels when it comes to their fitness journey. Also, pay attention to the excuses that you give to yourself to the reason why you don't go to the gym. And I know one of my things that has stopped me from going to the gym last year would have been just me having a bad hair day or maybe I had just gotten my hair done. So what I've learned to do is either to wear a hat if I'm having a bad hair day or to wrap my hair up in a scarf, that way I'm protecting my hairstyle and I don't have to worry about getting it done again or having to go wash my hair right after the gym. Next, I wanna talk about the type of interactions that you might have with people. And I know that many people, including myself, has dealt with jerks at the gym. For example, those people who are intimidating or bullying people off of machines. You know, if it ever comes down to it, and let's say this person is like standing over you, staring at you and trying to intimidate you off the uh, machine, what I would do and what I have done is just tell them like, Hey, can you give me some personal space, please? Usually when you make direct eye contact with them, you tell them like, hey, you're a bit too close right now. I need you to move around. You know, they usually do move around, but I know that sometimes they can become aggressive or start verbally harassing you. Now, if that ever does come the case, instead of like getting into an altercation with this person, just go tell the staff and then they'll address the situation for you. They'll either give him a warning or tell him to leave. Your safety is always number one. And speaking of safety, if this is your first time going to the gym and you really have no idea how to use the machines, 
ask the staff to give you a tour around the gym so that way you know where everything is and then ask them how to use the machine. You never want to lift more than what you can handle, especially if you don't have a spotter. Now, if you're going to be lifting something heavier than usual, make sure to ask someone for help. Some people are actually nice enough to help you train. And if you're doing something wrong and someone corrects you, do not be sensitive to criticism because it will happen, but that's just to make you better at what you're doing. Also, a lot of people don't talk about this, but do not wear your jewelry while you're working out. Always put it away or leave it at home. Now, if your jewelry is rubber, that would possibly be the only exception, and that's because it's flexible and easy to remove in case of emergency, compared to something that has metal in it. So if you're wearing any rings, any other piercings, like nose piercings or whatever have you, make sure that you put that away along with any uh, rings, bracelets, and necklaces. Make sure that you have that all put away either in your locker or keep it at home. Lastly, I want you to be patient with your progress. It may take a year before you actually reach your final goal. So never pressure yourself to lose all of this weight within like three to six months. That's actually not realistic, but as long as you're being consistent, you will see a change by the end of the year. Or if you're starting right now, currently it is the beginning of May, you know, by next May, your body will look completely different than what it does now. In my next video, I'm going to be posting a part two on a road to a healthy lifestyle on what you should be eating. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.